<laughs> hey peeps, it's Ross and Heather Dupre with the Dupre's. We have Jay and Tevin, and they're gonna tell us all about their yurt. Yeah, this is our, our yurt that we just raised a few months back. It's a 30 footer from Fortress Yurts is who we got the kit from and built this platform and raised it up and we think of it kind of as like our extended living room, some space for guests and our winter bedroom because it's got a nice wood stove in it. But we also are staying in our uh, old 1975 MCI converted bus there as well. So yeah. your kitchen and your bathroom are in there. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. And then like you said, your living room and everything else is in here mm -hmm. for right now. Yeah, and yep. so when we have friends over, we can spread out a little bit. Now that is so. a plus when you live in there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And we're still moving in, so uh, it's a work in progress. Now everything's, there's a pile of boxes and, you know. That's okay. But we're making it work, and little by little. So you can actually put doors and windows in these yurts? Yep, there's new, uh, lots of different choices you can have. Traditionally, this design comes from uh, Mongolia, and it was cool. based on uh, the, you know, the traditional nomadic people from the steppes, and they lived in, like, wool felt tents. And so that's where the design comes from, and now modern companies are kind of making uh, them out of, this is uh, canvas and vinyl, and but the lattice work in the frame is based on that Mongolian traditional nomadic tent structure. Very neat. Yeah. So you made the frame and everything. We didn't, we built it and put it up, but we bought a kit and we made the, the platform ourselves because you can kind of decide however you want it up. Some people just pour concrete slab. Some, we wanted to have it a little raised and have a little deck and so. The platform was the hardest part. Mm -hmm. So there's good reason that people build and mm -hmm squares and right. rectangles. It was hard to make a, a perfectly round platform, but we're really fortunate to have some dear friends who showed up and took some time out of their work weeks and and hustled in the hot summer uh, afternoon mm -hmm. hours. And the platform and the yurt would not be here without some um, awesome folks taking some time to help us out. Mm -hmm. Friends are always amazing. Let's take a Should walk I inside, guys. All right. It's amazing. I could see why you guys love this. It's solid too, this floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you, how is that? Just that's to good. To get throw some light on places? Is, yeah, I just do it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I'm just uh, doing that's some quick run. That, so we chose, even though we chose like a, we talked to a lot of guys about what was, everybody said hardwood's the best, but we, it was out of our price range. So this is like a. Jay and I are the co founders of Holy Fool Arts. And we have been doing um, traveling performance work around the country for the last seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. And Mostly music, dance, and theater. And so we have been in a long discernment process about uh, having a land base for this creative work. And so now this is sort of the first structure that has been raised for this new project we're calling Dreaming Stone. So this yurt is supposed to, um, as you know, you heard the plan is that it supports our um, lifestyle on the land, but also that it would be a space for uh, artists and residencies at Dreaming Stone that we could be able to host folks who would come and maybe they would do uh, paint murals or maybe there are um, sculptural uh, elements that are integrated into the gardens or maybe they do they support us with some of the uh, restoration projects or with the land projects. Mm -hmm. um, Do you have a URL you want to say to them? Bring them to a website yet? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, folks can learn about us at holyfoolarts.org. Mm -hmm. And also on our uh, on Facebook, you can look up Holy Fool Arts. Okay. The Carnival de Resistance. Okay. Which was... Like, uh, Holy Fool Arts' biggest project, one of the things that we did were month-long residencies that uh, popped up in different cities and did uh, a carnival. We'll make sure to put the link in the video and you guys can click either up, down, in between, wherever we put it on here for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're excited about this. This was uh, my first tiling project. Hearth. Hearth platform. Oh, and uh, this is a v super efficient stove. We invested in um, one that is going to uh, make the most out of mm -hmm. the 
the so, fuel. So that ceiling that being up next to the uh, cloth like that, that doesn't burn heat up or anything? Yeah, it's got such an insulated pipe and the way that it uh, is mounted and right. sealed is... Uh, we learned a lot. This is from Foothills Fireplace in South Carolina and Greg there helped us learn a lot about it. So you have real windows in here, real glass windows. That's this is right. not It's not like yeah. plastic windows, it's real glass. Yeah, yeah Fortress Yurts claims to be one of the first yurt companies to design yurts with, with real glass windows. Wow. So this is, part of the reason we wanted this is to be able to open the windows from the inside. Uh, traditional or other yurts that I've been in have uh, sort of a clear vinyl window right. and you have to right. uh, open open them from the outside. So this is- Oh, you a, do? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a lot nicer having real windows. Yeah. yeah. So you good? could totally cook on this stove. Yeah. And the other thing I was wondering is, so say you wanted to add on to this yurt and what if you took out a window? Could you add on to it and make like a hallway and add another pod? I think that's possible, but it might have been better for us to to integrate that to think about it earlier yeah. on yeah i've it, seen some people do that where they just get another one or a different sized one i saw one online somewhere where somebody had built like an extended deck and a, like a covered walkway to and they had another one that was their bathroom and yeah, yeah. Oh, this is really cool we would yeah. like to build a loft in here so as to have um the bedroom a little bit enclosed and have uh, a sleeping porch or a sleeping loft um, above so that we could even fit more folks in here right. when it's time. Like What's that in the center right there? It's not glass. It's like a skylight. It's yeah. a skylight. This is the, you know, in the traditional yurts, that would be the space where the smoke would um, exit would the space. The center of their fire pit. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. and I so, didn't think of that. Yeah, this was a what is that um, material? It's like a real hard plexiglass. Yeah. Now, now this can take the weight. Of, this can take the weight of a snow load. Like if it snows a foot of snow, oh, you're yeah. okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. They Fortress Yurts has an additional snow and wind kit that gives like we are looking at it, and I guess it has like two by fours that come down to the floor from the rafters, and then uh, additional bracing in between the rafter beams themselves. Mm -hmm. But when we were asking them if we should invest in that, they looked at our address and said that we didn't need it for our weather that it would be strong yeah, enough so really we didn't get very much snow this year and i don't think we got much last year so yeah i wouldn't think that you would need it for in here yeah it's, and it's, honestly those the braces aren't that far apart right so i wouldn't yeah. think super strong it looks yep. oh yeah Great design. Had, um, yeah shout out to jimmy betts who crawled up on the top of oh, no, the thanks. roof <laughs> in order to uh yeah, <laughs> screw that dome down. Mm -hmm. Just have one question on this, and everybody's gonna wonder, how much did this cost you? I know you mm -hmm. did it by hand, you did the structure mm -hmm. down there by hand, all mm -hmm. plywood, the wood. Like, what does the kit cost minus the floor mm -hmm. and the structure? There are ways you can find used yurts, mm -hmm. um, and I think that there's a range of costs for mm -hmm. used yurts. Are used? Used. Previously owned? We previously owned wow. yurts that can be taken down and mm -hmm. um, put back up. So I think that um, it's possible to do it a lot cheaper than what we did. Mm. Um, and we found a really lovely discount online. So we also got a, we got a new yurt for um, a pretty nice rate of $14,000. Okay, so this right awesome. here, was that including the windows, the glass windows? You have four windows? including the, the windows Great. and the door. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. And everything. And this is insulated too, around here, insulated. Yes, the, the roof's insulated. We also chose the, the nicer insulation for right. the roof and the walls. It's warm um, in here. Because honestly, I would have thought it would have been would have been closer to the twenty thousand or twenty five. Mm -hmm. So that's they, pretty awesome. And they can get up. They can get up there. If, if we had chosen more windows, if we had there's there's a number of upgrades that we could have done. And there's lots of different sizes too. This mm -hmm. is like yeah. the second biggest that that company makes. I think nice. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. It looks amazing in here. So this was fourteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And how much was the base for all the wood, not counting labor, like the base? I I know what it is, but tell the camera how much the actual base was. Uh, this is significantly off the ground on one side. Right. So we had a, a lot, yeah, a lot of posts, and we had almost thirty, yeah, footers. Um, <laughs> wow, this that isn't going anywhere. That we had to dig, yeah. <laughs> uh, and so it's a 
uh, it was a lot of hefty lumber underneath us, and we also invested in good uh, insulation to Curtis have, Moore. yeah, to have That's underneath super us. Super warm. And lucky you did, because North Carolina, we're getting like flooded every day, mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. You know, Lots of you water. guys deal with it. Yeah. But um. Yeah, that's so it's insulated on the sides and what's holding this whole thing up some kind of cable that's on the right on the perimeter you can see it where we haven't covered the walls yet there's that's, um there's like a real strong uh oh, I see it. cable that wraps around in between yeah. the top of the lattice and then the rafters have a notch that it goes over yeah. once it's tight and at the right height. Wow. the cable is the secret to everything actually because the the uh rafters are pushing the cable out right. and then the the uh you know lattice and the frames it. are holding it in so it's got this uh, so if we cut that cable will this fall apart probably mm -hmm. that's yeah. holding a lot yeah yeah but the real heavy duty cables Guess. that are like oh yeah they're they're, they're big cables yeah. here holding this up aircraft yeah yeah you can see how big it is i mean they make bridges out of cables that's what cables are for to, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so and this is not the weight of a bridge <laughs> right this is i mean this is really neat that, so you can tell the way this is structured these are structured i believe that it, the, the weight of the snow if you're up north it'll hold it because oh, yeah. it, it, it walls can't kick out because of the cable and i'm sure you can get different size cables and all that yeah. and the kits and stuff yeah. we we have friends who are in yurts in colorado and uh wow the high deserts in new mexico nice. in um yeah. up in the northwest there's a there are folks who live in yurts that are um that get a lot of snow mm -hmm. and they stay warm uh -huh. really mm -hmm. so you're more comfortable in here than the rv oh <laughs> uh, well, like a house uh, yeah yeah, yeah this like is both. where we get to this is where we get to spread out <laughs> this yeah. is so roomy because how tall is that ceiling in the center i mean that's yeah. tall 16 feet Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate you showing me everything. Yeah, uh, well, totally. I've smashed my hand. She's shaking me the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it, guys. Yeah. I'm going to show you the understructure and how this is all uh, put together. Just kind of show them how it's constructed. This is not going anywhere. It's got 20 footings, right? At least, yeah. I mean, we, like, usually on most of them, it cinches up like there. Yeah. So you have the drip edge, but our... Ours was a little bit 